Well, Korea, much like you know other countries, um, media really does influence the culture there, big time. And I mean, for me personally, when I was a kid, um, I watched. They had things called Korean dramas, which are like kind of like their TV series. Yeah, K-dramas. Yeah. Yeah, it's very conservative. You know, people didn't even kiss because it was like, <gasps> like, oh my goodness, you know. But now it's just like completely changed. You know, and, and it's because of media. You know, and so um, our our desire is that I guess some more background is we were never trying to reach Korea. The door just opened. And so when we thought, prayed about it, it was like God really opened that door. And as we went to Korea, we realized the state of uh, the church and how media was influencing culture and even how the church was seeing how important media is. So for us, it was, you know, hip hop does exist there and hip hop is a growing platform. But if we can bring, you know, what we'll call positive hip hop, which is really Christian hip hop, right, uh, into Korea, that really hope that it'll impact the culture there, right? So that's the whole reason why we're embarking on that. Um, so it was about maybe three years ago, three years ago, four years ago, Sam's music um, got into Japan and really started picking up in Japan. And as it began to pick up in Japan, it began to pick up in Korea. And so from that, he began touring as solo artists in Japan. And then once it started picking up in Korea, because people would, like K-pop stars and stuff, would tweet about his music. Um, so then it was about, two, two, was it two years ago? I think two years ago. Uh, when Sam first went out to Korea, and then it was a year ago. Was that yeah, a year ago? It was a year ago. Okay, a year ago, where he had his first. He got invited to Grammy Festival, which is the largest indie music festival in Korea. You know, there are about eight thousand people there. It's outdoors, um, and that just really catapulted his you know, music in Korea. So a couple months later, they invited him back to do his solo concert in Korea, and so during so uh, that. That's how it just transitioned. It wasn't, it, it really just came out of left field. People liked his music. And so because that door opened, we were like, okay, here's an opportunity. And we started introducing like James music, Amp's music. And as we began to understand how the industry works there and, you know, really praying into it, like, why is this happening? Uh, we really felt like, you know, maybe guys opened this door for a reason. So, and so Korea and Japan are like the main entertainment hubs in Asia. And then their entertainment filters into Singapore. And Singapore is like the hub where it gets distributed to all the Southeast Asian countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Vietnam and all those areas. And so when we were thinking about it and praying about it, it was like maybe there's a reason why guys opening doors in Japan and Korea because that is the main hub. 